Hi, this is Evan Neerman, founder of Crisis PR firm Red Banyan. We're talking today about Jerry Falwell and the new video that has emerged showing he, his wife, and the pool boy from the Fountain Blue in Miami with whom she was having an affair discussing his sex life. That's what we're going to be talking about here. But let's start with Liberty University, the school founded by Falwell's father, the Reverend Jerry Falwell Sr. Right now, the school and Jerry Falwell himself are making things worse because there seems to be some debate as to whether or not Jerry Falwell is on leave or if he's actually left his position permanently. And without a definitive answer, that's just leading to more speculation and more phone calls from the media looking to understand the situation. But let's make no mistake about this. This is the crisis that is going to come to define Jerry Falwell Jr. It is gonna dog him through the rest of his life. And let's talk about why. The main reason has to do with what is perceived as hypocrisy. Crisis situations are infinitely worse when people present one face to the public and then evidence appears that there's someone else in private. So let's just say for argument's sake, Jerry Falwell was an actor. He was a musician. He lived a wild, rowdy lifestyle, rock and roller, uh, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. This wouldn't be so much of a story. Would it still be in the headlines, the fact that his wife is alleged to have had a sexual relationship with the pool boy from the Fountain Blue in Miami Beach and that Jerry Jr. was watching in the corner? Yeah, it's probably newsworthy. But what makes it a scandal of epic proportions is the fact that Liberty University is a conservative school and that Jerry Falwell Jr. himself has spent his entire career based upon a brand of being religious, conservative, emphasizing family values. So when you get into a situation where someone has purported to be one thing and a champion of conservative values, and then you have a series of events that have been building to this climax, pardon the phrase, one example would be photographs taken of Jerry Falwell and his brother at a Miami nightclub, photographs of them drinking. Now this is at the same time that they're leading a university that frowns upon dancing and also doesn't allow students to imbibe alcohol. That was a scandal in and of itself. Then there was another mini scandal with a post on Instagram of Jerry Falwell Jr. with his pants unzipped, standing next to a woman with her pants unzipped, both of them appearing to be drinking. Now they were able to weather that scandal, not that big a deal. It was something that was swept under the rug and moved on from. However, now that we have a tape with audio showing Jerry Falwell, his wife Becky, and the individual who was involved in a sexual relationship with the Falwells posted online, you can go on Reuters and hear it and hear the three of them interacting. This is lights out for Jerry Falwell. This is the scandal that signals the end of Jerry Falwell's career, the irreparable damage to his reputation, and ultimately is also going to make it very, very hard for Liberty University to survive. We'll be following this very closely in the coming days as details continue to emerge, and you can rest assured that the truth will come out, and soon we will know even more than we know now.